In case the sound on the uh, Pro Presenter computer should ever be a little tricky or not making noise when you think it should be making noise, here's what we're going to do to show you the correct sound settings. All right. So uh, I'm in Pro Presenter here. I have the audio um, tray open, which can be open and closed by clicking the uh, audio icon uh, by toggling that on and off, on. Anyway, you can see all the audio um, files we have and how we can work with those. So if you hit play on a song, I'm just going to use this uh, Walkin' Audio 14, why not? Now if I click on that, um, Pro Presenter is showing me that the file is playing back. There should be music, um, but there is none coming out of uh, the Mac Mini's uh, kind of built-in speakers. Now we might be thinking, oh, it's coming through the board via Dante, but if we look over at the board, there is a distinct lack of lights on that thing. So what we need to do is to go into the sound settings for the computer itself to see where the computer is sending the sound right now. So if we go down to our um, settings icon, or I'm sorry, system preferences, and you bring up your main system preferences, and this is not with the soundboard, this is not with ProPresenter, this is the computer itself, the Mac Mini uh, that is located underneath that uh, nice Bible um, stacker thing. Okay, so if we go to our sound settings over here, we can see where the sound is going. Now, uh, right now it's going to this Blackmagic display port, um, which I believe is actually... Um, I think it's the video connection, maybe to that TV on the back wall, maybe. Uh, we don't want that. That is not where we want our sound to be going. We want the sound to come out of the Mac Mini speakers right here. So if we click on that, we should start to hear music. Great. We are hearing sound. And we can adjust the volume down here if we wanted to. We can make it louder or quieter. Okay. Now, here's the tricky part about changing the sound settings. When we turn on the Dante interface, we need to make sure that it's actually functioning and sending sound. I'm going to pause this. Make sure we send sound to the soundboard. Because for some reason, when you make a change to that setting, uh, Dante gets a little finicky about it. Because watch this. All right, we're going to play, play the song again. Coming out of the, the Mac Mini speakers, great. Now we go to Dante. Um, this indicates that Dante is currently not running because of this start button. When we click start, it should start sending sound to the board. We hit start. We should have sound on the board. Let's look. Oh no, a distinct lack of LEDs. So here's what we need to do. When Dante is running, to get things kind of back where they need to be, when Dante is running, we go back to our system preferences and we say, hey, Dante's running. We should be on the Dante virtual sound card right now. So we're going to click Dante Virtual Sound Card, and now the board is getting that audio. So now we've basically, in effect, changed the output to where the sound is going. We've changed it manually back to uh, route it through the Dante Virtual Sound Card. Now here's what's cool. Now when we go back to Dante and we stop it, it will revert to wherever the setting had, wherever the setting had been. So since we had it on Mac Mini speakers, I'm going to turn that off. Um, since we had the setting on Mac Mini speakers, now it should be set where we activate Dante, it will uh, snap to uh, you know outputting through Dante. So let's just make sure we got it right because we don't want to find this out during a chirp service. That'd be awkward. So we go back to Dante. Make sure when we hit activate, or I'm sorry, boom. Dante, good. Music on the board. We hit stop. Stops. Snaps back to the Mac Mini. Nothing on the board. So now the sound settings for the computer are now uh, corrected and back where they need to be. I don't know why this would ever change, um, but sometimes, I don't know if it's updating or the computer can have a mind of its own. But now you can at least see where the system preferences should be for sound so we can hear sound when we need to.